They make it look effortless. But it takes hard work to be this good. These are the Boston Showstoppers. The program has brought girls basketball in the city to another level. Founder Clinton Lassiter says it also helps keep his players focused on the positive. Staying away from the gang violence and drugs and all the other stuff that attack this age group. When they go home, is when they shower, eat, and go to bed. <laughs> Everything else is irrelevant. The elite travel team competes all over. Texas, Atlanta, New York. Including at showcases where college recruiters seek out talent. Those come with fees, often too steep for these student athletes. Enter the Women's Foundation of Boston with an assist. What we do is we raise money and then we grant it out to women and girls serving nonprofits, specifically that economically empower women and girls. Awarding scholarships through the nonprofit Dream Big, the Women's Foundation of Boston has helped get Showstoppers players to more showcases than ever. That exposure leading to incredible life opportunities. We've had girls that have gone on to Ivy League schools. We've had kids that will be the first generation to graduate into colleges. What a return on investment. This is exactly the kind of work we love to do. Former equity analyst and portfolio manager Christina Gordon explains the whole team at the Women's Foundation is results driven. The founders are a group of business women who noticed a need. We looked around locally and we couldn't find a large, vibrant Women's Foundation like there were in 44 other states. So we created the Women's Foundation of Boston in January of 2017 and we have been growing ever since. Disparity when it comes to funding has been the main motivator. Only 1.6 percent of all U.S. charitable giving is directed towards women and girls serving nonprofits. The foundation's first grantee was Cambridge-based Science Club for Girls in June of 2018. Representation is at the core of what we do. I think it was Sally Ride who said, you can't be what you can't see. Female mentors give of their time, leading experiments and activities. We have 77 schools represented in our clubs and the confidence that the girls gain in meeting and making friends and sharing interests and finding out commonalities with girls across the city is incredibly empowering. There's a wait list of girls who want to join. The only thing holding back expansion is money. In 1970, only 9% of the STEM workforce was made up of women. Now it's 25%. We are shortchanging all of us by not having this critical source of brain power. Educational, using the makey makey, what else? At our sister school in New Bedford, building is not reserved for boys. STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math activities are hands on. The all girls middle school opened in 2008 and relies completely on grants and private donations. This is one of the three rooms in the creative suite. This new media lab and robotic space is a direct result of grant money from the Women's Foundation of Boston, as is this greenhouse, a crucial space at the height of the COVID pandemic. Their support makes it possible for us to do all sorts of programming, dynamic programming. Head of school Sarah Herman explains fifth through eighth grade is a vulnerable time for girls when data suggests they often fall behind in their academics. Here? They are comfortable with problem solving, creative thinking, technology. The tools being used may differ, but Christina Gordon says what's key is opportunity. These ladies have passion and drive to spare. Play in college, that's like my main goal. It's been my goal since probably fifth grade. Hey. Their potential is infinite. One, two, three. Showstoppers. Four, five, six. Family. Wow, so awesome. And the Women's Foundation of Boston is really growing by leaps and bounds. Right. Their goal this year is to raise $3.2 million to give directly to nonprofits that focus on girls and women. Uh, they're also working with uh, the Harvard Kennedy School of Government to create a research fund that focuses on gender equity as well. Very important. Okay.